Well, hello there. I'm the old growler. Welcome to Meeting Expectations. What we do here is we take a look at a can of beer, a bottle of beer, wine or spirit might drop by. We're all friends in fermentation. We read everything on the label. We take a look at the artwork. We crack it open and see if it meets expectations. Oh, recently some folks have been saying, Peter, why don't you uh, rate these beers? All right, I'll rate them from one to five. One being number one and five being a dive. All right, well, what, oh yes, a few things. All beer should be served at the correct temperature. Lagers between 37 and 47 degrees Fahrenheit and ales between 50 and 55 degrees Fahrenheit. A Thermoworks thermometer tells us exactly what the temperature of all the beers that we chased here at <coughs> the old Rower. All right, also, all of the tastings are in the same style of glassware. That way nobody has a leg up when it comes to clarity or aromatics. And finally, tasting technique. Traditionally, one will take a look at the sample, one will smell the sample, one will taste the sample, and one will pontificate. Well, I'll pontificate, but I'm gonna sip first. Why? Wine expert Fred Dax explains it all to you. He does a lot better than I do. All right, what do we got today? Whoa, -ho! from the good kids here in Brooklyn, a six point brewery, they've got their resin double IPA. And I am familiar with this. I might have done a tasting of this before. If I have, there'll be a note right up there. All right, Six Point Brewery Resin. It is a double IPA. And it says, We remember our first sip of hoppy beer. Do you? Nearly spit it out. Now we fantasize about this stuff. Thinking about those hop cones bursting with juice, ripe as all hell, makes you look forward to that first resin all day long. Wow, they excited about their beer. Sixpointcompany.com. Government warning, according to the Surgeon General, do not be a pregnant woman operating heavy machinery. No props. 19.2 fluid ounces, 9.1% alcohol by volume. Here's the barcode. And the good folks at the Brewers Association certify that it is an independent brewery. Formulated and brewed by Six Point Brewery, Brooklyn, New York, Parkersburg, Pennsylvania, and Downington, Pennsylvania. All right. Well, that's about it. They, they're telling us that they, they spit it out at first and now they love it and it's ripe as all hell. They don't tell us what hops are in here or what the IBUs are, but they will tell us that it is 9.1% alcohol by volume. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. Nope. Well, that's about it. All right, well, what are we looking forward to? I'm looking for something that's really gonna take the enamel off my teeth and really uh, pucker up the, uh, the sides of my mouth. That's uh, the tongue, that's what I'm, I'm, I'm looking at. And it's probably gonna smell like um, Oh, like a French barnyard. Okay. Belgian barnyard, one of the two. This was his six. Five dollars and ninety-nine cents from the local beer emporium. Wow, oh, there we go. Oh, it looks a little blonde, but Go mine. Uh, certainly got the carbonation, that's for sure. I'm getting a little aromatic right from even from over here. That's a gorgeous looking beer. All right. And we're clicking in at 51 degrees Fahrenheit. So it is right on as far as an ale goes. Perfect temperature. It looks like a perfect IPA. Let's see what it tastes like. Cheers. Yes, I I took two sips. <clears throat> it's about 1.15 in the afternoon on a Monday. 
my taste buds usually take siesta. Well, they had to be woke. They're woke now. Let's see what their olfactory friends have to say. Oh, funky, funky, funky. Yeah, that's got really, it's got a, an, oh, oh boy, almost a, um, a root cellar type of, uh, of aroma there, like a kind of a turnip uh, type of uh, bitter green, um, uh, I always say dandelion green type of, of, of aroma. Let's see what the taste buds have to say about that. Full-bodied beer, yeah. Boy, the hops hang around, but I should—it's it's, it's a tang. Uh, um, I would come. I would compare it almost to um, to tannins in a wine, red wine. It really does that to you. It starts you salivating, and you um, you, you say, "Geez, I'd really like another taste," but you go, "Wow, that was really a." I'm gonna have to wait a little bit, and, and no, I really like one. I'm gonna have to wait a little bit. So, it's a it's a, it's a funny beer to work with, that's for sure. It didn't take my uh, it didn't take the enamel off my teeth, and it didn't uh, pucker up my uh, tongue. So, uh, I, it didn't quite make meet expectations. But it is a very very interesting beer. All right, well, the six point uh, D I P A double India Pale Ale meet expectations. It certainly does. Oh, and by the way, we've started rating beers here. Yes, we have. And is this beer going to be a one or a five? A number one or a dive? Well, I tell you, it's a wicked interesting beer. So I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it a two plus because uh, it's, it's it's not quite my tough cup of tea, but uh, it is interesting and it, it certainly is is uh, something that I would definitely try again. So I'm going to I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it a three. If you enjoyed this presentation, please click on the subscribe button below and the bell. That way you won't miss any of our presentations. A thumbs up would be great. Share us with your friends and a comment would be really appreciated. I'm Peter France, the old growler, hoping all of your beers meet expectations.